I bet it calls the butler just like on TV. I guess this is George Washington's bed. The late Max Attix. His petard runneth over. A lamentable fate for such a patriotic dude. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? It should have a hologram on it somewhere. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. That'd make a killer t-shirt. I like these. Too late. You've already rejected those. Stars and stripes. Dull, dull, dull. Hey, don't criticize unless you got a better idea. Looks comfortable. Nice day outside. Sorry, no time for small. These look better on velvet. Chateau de Chipo, 1775. I don't quite see how it can fly. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Probably the underwear drawer. Looks like he spent a lot of time in there. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, amendments to the Constitution. It's a little cage with a canary in it, perched above a little lever. Huh. Bitchin'. It's a little cage with a canary. Must have poor circulation. If I had a nickel for every time I've seen that face, it looks like a martini shaker. Stolen from the desk of George Washington. He looks oddly familiar. Cool view of the outhouses. Sometimes I like to eat it raw. Mmm, salad oil. <whistles> Bitchin'. A 
it's empty. I hope this wasn't used in the outhouses. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. He's going to give the log to starving children? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, a, a writing the... A, We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft, you'll only make me colder. Wimp. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't... Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any br brilliant ideas. What about free sandwiches for all roadies? No, there's no such thing as... Don't say it, dude. I've heard it before. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. You mean you have, like, a childhood complex? Alright. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go crazy over guys with a big signature. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Well, I gotta go, dude. Hey, Tall, Dark, and Spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas, my name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. Filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Dude, is that like THE Constitution? Right now it's just A Constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge, and take heed. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part?
I like those S's that look like F's. I see. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later?